Welcome to the channel. We're back inside the studio for this 1,500 point match play game between Astra Militarum and Orcs. Of course, the pandemic is still ravaging the planet, but UK lockdown restrictions continue to be eased and you can actually meet people inside your house if they live alone and they um, agree to be part of your support bubble. So um, we welcome my support bubble, the Sultan. Say hi, the Sultan. I support the Sultan. <laughs> you live round the corner from me. I do, yeah. You live like just up the road. I could throw a stone and hit your house. You have. Uh, yeah, once or twice. <laughs> and you've appeared on DeploymentZone.tv before. I have, yeah. With your Void Walkers. Good memory, yeah, Space yeah. Marines. Space Marines, uh, but this time you're bringing Scions. Yeah, I have very, no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> a very narrative list of Scions. And when's the last time you played? Uh, February, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been like that for everyone. So, um, you, you must support Bubble, so uh, you're probably going to be on TV or YouTube quite a lot, because you have said, yeah, I'll come round, it's fine, we do it. Yeah, we had a knife in my throat. Yeah, I know, it's like, you will come round, I will make you play. <laughs> so, um, we thought we might have to do this one outside originally, so that's why it's 1,500 points, because the table outside is only a 5 by 3 but we prefer playing on bigger tables. Honestly, that whole table stuff, have you heard all the stuff about the tables? A little bit smaller. Yeah, competitive or the competitive scene is going to go for the minimum size. Obviously, yeah. they can fit more people in the hall and more people playing 40k at competitive events means more people playing 40k, which is yeah. better for the hobby as a whole whole. But generally speaking, I prefer to play on the largest table we can possible. I've gone to Warhammer World and you played on like 12 by 6 tables with yeah. just 2000 point armies. Because when you've got a really big table, you can flank more and you might have a 48 inch range LAS cannon, but my vehicle might be 70 odd inches away. It means the range of weapons and the um, uh, mobile warfare options that come out in those games are uh, basically what I'm saying is play on the, who cares what size table you play on, but play on the largest possible size table you can because it makes the game as interesting as possible unless you're going competitive Which and then want. play on the minimum size tables because yeah. that's what they're all going to be playing on, on the minimum size tables. And um, yeah, for obvious reasons. But apart from that, yeah, so this is the old 6x4. We're going to be playing on 6x4 mainly when 9th edition comes around. What we have here is a once battle-worn outpost, uh, an industrial sector off in the distance, and you can see it's now overgrown, and we've got crates and buildings and bunkers. There was a war here once, and men died. Constantly. Con there, was, there was bleeding, there was screaming, there was murder in the streets. And now the orcs, the orcs are rocking up in their trucks and their battle wagons looking for loot. And so the Scions and the Capic Eagles are going to be swooping in to repel them. The idea is um, the orcs can't find too much. The orcs get a bit greedy and then you get you get more orcs and then more orcs and then more and before you know it you've got a war. So you've got a very fast hitting flyer base list over there. Yeah. Which is gonna they've been sent in to exterminate with extreme prejudice. Yeah, the silip bang to your fungus. The silip bang. <laughs> Clear away the mould. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's an orc raiding party. Uh, the Scions need to repulse with extreme prejudice. I should talk about the game, actually. It's 1,500 points. We're playing Cleanse and Capture because it makes just, just makes narrative sense. And it's simple. And it's been such a long time since anyone's played 40k. We need to keep it simple. So there's six objectives on the table. Oh, t roll for table quarters. So I'm deploying here. The Sultan's deploying over there. And then the way it works in Cleanse and Capture is you're dropping first, then I'm dropping, then you're dropping, then I'm dropping. And he who drops first chooses to go first. I think I'm probably going first, looking at all the number of vehicles that I have to chuck my army into. And yeah, three cards a turn every turn. I think I covered it. 
Battle map from urbanmats.com. There's some Forge World Terrain on the table. There's some crates from cromlec.eu. You can get the objective markers, the dice, and the command point tokens from the deploymentzone.tv merchandise page. And if you want some more awesome videos from me, I encourage you to check out that way. Also, there's a patron link below as well if you want to support that way as well. Did I cover everything? Yes. Brilliant, maybe. right. <laughs> maybe, maybe. We'll, we'll find out in the edit. Let's go and have a look at these armies. Right, this is just south of 1,500 points worth of Goffs. We're playing Goffs today. It's a battalion, eight command points to play with. So Orcs have a rule called Daka Daka Daka, where on sixes to shoot, they generate more shots. Goffs have a rule basically called Smacker Smacker Smacker, whereas on sixes to hit in close combat, they generate more hits. Basically, sixes in this list generate more hits, either shots or close combat. Again, keeping it simple for my tiny brain. And what we've got is boys in truck, boys in truck, boys in truck, looters in truck, <laughs> mega knobs in battle wagon, bone breaker, with two big shooters, I think that's the kill cannon, the six shot one, or the heavy six, the 24 inch range heavy D6, it's either six shots or D6 shots, it's been a while, with the, with the roller, they're in there, and joining him in there is Grugger Chugger, my warlord. He's got that killer claw for his relic. So it's a flat three damage uh, claw. And might is right for an extra attack and an extra strength. He's very brutal, not very cunning. And he's got a mech with him, big mech with custom force field and the uh, custom shooter and the claw. They're, they're going to be in with the mega knobs in the big wagon because they're the big guys. And that's what happens with them. And then we have a bunch of knobs on bikes zipping around as well. So this is a narrative list. We wanted to, we're returning to the well. We're returning to 40K after a, a long break. We only had a couple of games and we're going back to our well. We're going back to our narrative roots with this list here, sweeping in to cleanse and capture the site of all Dalut simples. Oh, one more thing. Narratively speaking, my Orc Warband is called Murphy's War. Unfortunately, Murphy is not with us today. Grugger Chugger is. And um, all the models in front of you were gloriously painted to level three painting standard by Den of Imagination Painting Studio. Link below. Okay, my list was very simple. This list, this guard list, is narrative as hell. And there's loads of different options in it and stuff because Sultan makes lists only really narrative lists and armies from narrative point of view. So we've got some flyers, we've got some scions, we've got what is this? Because <laughs> you've already spent some command points, but you've got eight left already. Talk uh, us through it. Right. Okay. Um, well, I'll start with narrative stuff, as okay. I did on DZ. Yeah. Uh, forgive me. Ramble incoming. Okay. Uh, no, I like, it. I like a good ramble. Yeah, I like well, a good ramble. Stand by. Uh, so this is the Volcanis 22nd Air Assault Brigade. Nice. So pretty obvious air assault, loads of flyers. So a little bit of backstory on these guys. They were formed about three to four hundred years ago. No one really knows when. But essentially, there was a Capic Eagles warlord, a Militarum Tempestus Regiment warlord, this yep. is Lord Commander, uh, who was ordered to be a rear guard for an Imperial evacuation of a planet under assault from the Night Lords. Sweet. So scary people coming to do scary things. This guy got drew the short straw. Anyway, <laughs> the Imperials got away. And as he was the rear guard, uh, this Capic Eagles warlord known as Tylos Rain was left behind with just the company of Capic Eagles. However, this was still an Imperial world. Not everybody got away. There were still civilians there. So he thought instead of doing a glorious last stand like all Imperials should, he's going to fight back. Right. So okay. he launched with his company. He recruited as many civilians as he could and launched a daring guerrilla campaign against the Night Lords and their cultists. Nice. Um, you know, going for stealth assassinations, um, prepping for the eventual Imperial return to this world, or so he hoped. Vive la resistance. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway... Three years later, right. the Imperial battle fleet arrives to take back the planet. To be fair, three years is quite quick. Yeah, quite quick <laughs> for Imperials, Imperium. but a long time to be on a her heretical world. With the Night Lords. Exactly. Think yeah. Gaunt's ghosts. Yeah. Uh, he was there for six months or so, 18 months, and he got absolutely grilled at the end. Yeah. Sorry, three years later, they come back and they find the Night Lords forces, specifically the cultists, in disarray. Because yeah. the normal Night Lords are Astartes, they don't really get in disarray. They're just a bit mad. Yeah. Um, so anyway, the Imperials managed to take the world back with relative ease. Still millions killed, but relative ease in terms of the Imperial numbers. Yeah. They find this guy, Tylos Rain, and say, hey, nice one, good job. Let's go and grill you with the Inquisition. So another few years passed, yeah. constant interrogation of the Inquisition. Many called for his death, as you'd expect, but with a little bit of help from some Inquisitors who remain nameless for now. 
He was uh, found to be free of taint, as well as his company and the civilians recruited in, and uh, gifted the ability to form his own regiment. Nice. So he went to a world of fire and ice called Volcanus. Think Mercury. Like, where it's so close to the sun, one side's burning with volcanic eruptions, the other side basically freezing. Okay. And it spins and it changes, so think Fenris. Season of fire, season of ice kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Just death world. Mm-hmm. But there's a colony there. So he goes there and decides to raise a, uh, raise a regiment. Um, and he calls it the Volcanus Fourth Drop Shock Army. Nice. Uh, which is the larger organisation these guys are part of. And think tanks. You know, the whole idea is they drop and they are the shaft of the spear, the weighted spear. These guys of the 22nd Aerosol Grade are the tip of the spear. Right. So they land um, and do the work. So taking his Kappa Kegel's uh, sort of background, he went, right, I want flyers, I want scions, I want to uh, be able to do surgical strikes. However, he learned against the Night Lords that stealth and elimination is often a good way to go. So every person inducted into the regiment has to go through a rigorous stealth and elimination training. Nice. Um, forming the Pathfinder Corps. Yes. Um, so we've got our regular drop troops here who are kind of the elite, the best of the best. They get in there, they're the sledgehammer. Yeah. And these guys are um, sort of the, the preparation tools, if you like, for the sledgehammer. They're cleaning the surface and the sledgehammer can hit true, is so the you, idea. So you start with them and eventually you might um, yeah. uh, get promoted to this sort of level. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So think stealth, we're going to go and prep the landing zone and these guys coming after. Nice. In came turns then, so that's all over now. We're three, four hundred years in the future. Yeah. Um, so these guys have been around for a little while now, so they're pretty established. So what we have here in terms of game, it's three detachments. We've got a battalion detachment, an air wing detachment, and a vanguard detachment. All okay. the, the elites. So the battalion detachment yes. are taking the Capic Eagles army trait. Right. So infantry can move and fire heavy weapons without penalty. Yes. And if on the turn they jump out of a transport, they get plus one to hit. Okay. So pretty cool, very narrative. You know, they're science jumping out of aircraft. They should be awesome. Yeah, science jumping out of aircraft, and when they jump out, they're hitting on twos. Yes. That is yeah. brutal. It's nuts. I, I like it. it. Um, so, yeah, uh, in terms of Warlord, then, we have this guy, Lord, uh, sorry, uh, Tempesta Prime Sedexus. He's like a grizzled veteran, a bit older. He's been around for a while. Okay. Um, he's pretty calm, pretty chilled. Um, yeah. And his Warlord trait is the Cap Eagles Warlord trait, which is Master Vox. So he can give orders, the Imperial Guard order bubble, of uh, 24 inches from the hull of any vehicle he's in. Okay, So that's his trait. Yes, so he'll be in this Valkyrie, Judgment, yeah. and 24 inches from the wingtips, wherever the hull, basically, he can uh, give orders, which is nice. great for this. What's that one called? Uh, Master Vox. Master Vox. Yeah. Cool. So uh, his relic will be the tactical auto reliquary of somebody, and <laughs> that gives him ability to do a third order. So he's got an order for voice of command, he gets another one for his command rod, and he gets a third one for um, if he rolls anything but a one for a third order. Sweet. So a grizzled group veteran flying around in a flyer, yeah. shouting out orders from above. Yeah. Go left, do that. Yeah. So yeah. he's like a bit more, he's you know, a bit older guy, so he's yeah. standing back a bit. He's going to give yeah. the orders. He's going to be a commander on the field. Like he's not it. really punchy. Uh, the second in command of the battalion detachment is this is um, Tempesta Prime Talos Rain, the descendant of Talos Rain. Okay. So he's a young, uh, he's descended by several generations, but he's um, up and coming. He's yeah. quite a young guy, so he's still in the Pathfinders, but you know, he's proven his worth already. It's not just the name, he's like earned it in blood. Um, so he's getting a Warlord trait as well, which is Master of Command. So he can do an order for Voice of Command, another order for the Command Rod, and a third order for Master of Command. Brilliant. He's going to be down and dirty with the troops. Cool. He's getting involved, going to go smack some stuff. So you have, like, many orders with these guys to give out yeah, all over the so place. Yeah, so basically six across the army. They are very well drilled. Yes, yeah. So uh, every unit, troops-wise, has got a Vox in it. Okay. So they can all receive orders. Yeah. So um, for these guys, basically, we've got Scions with double plasma, Scions with double plasma, Scions with uh, volley guns, plasma power sword, plasma power fist, uh, plasma chainsword, just because it's cool. Why not give them all plasma? Okay. Um Command squads wise, we've got a medic who's basically like an apothecary, mini yeah. apothecary kind of thing. Um, we've got another box. Um, we've got plus one to leadership for the banner. Yeah. And the within six inches, and then another plasma good dude. This guy's command squad, as I said, he's getting a bit more involved. So he's got melter, 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 and it could have had a fourth melter, but he needs a box. So he has a box. Command and control is important. Yeah. So he has that. Uh, this squad, just another squad of scions, power fist, bolt pistol. Rocket up um, in a Torox. Yeah, rocket up in a Torox. These are all, all ten of these going in this Torox here. Ah, right. Okay. Um, just because they're going to go power forward to kill some stuff. Flamers for close range dirty work with yeah. their melters should be helping each other out. Yeah. Torox Prime, Battle Cannon, Auto Cannons. Nice. Um, so that is, uh, and these guys, sorry, these guys are Bulgrin proxies. Okay. So this is Giz, as you can see by his name tag. Um, so no one really knows what he is. Is he an AI? Is he a mech? We're not sure. 
Um, we just know he's really good at smashing stuff. Okay. And he's also good at doing as he's told. So if he's linked up with some ambots, they'll do as he tells them and he'll do as he's told. Right, okay. So these guys are just going to be acting as the Borgrin rules with right. slab shields and sh- and the power mauls. Yep. But um, they, I just prefer the look of the mechs, so I've gone with them. Okay. So they're pretty cool. Um, you just kit bash out whatever. It's very Bioshock, I like it. Yeah, no, that was the idea. <laughs> um, nice. And now the sort of the Vanguard detachment, unnamed platoon commander, he can give an order return. Okay, let's um, see if he earns himself a name here. Fingers crossed, yeah. yeah. Um, two officers of the fleet. Yeah. So basically they can do an orbital, bomb, orbital bombardment, one per game each on right. separate turns. Okay. And they can give basically strafe and run to aircraft if they're within 18 inches. Okay. Um, so they're cool. Snipers, um, these guys were under the Cadian Doctrine, by the way, which is the heavy weapons thing. Oh, sorry. So these are Capric Eagles. Yeah. And then your platoon commander and these guys are, yeah. ca- are Cadians, so they're basic grunts and they're yeah, following. Yeah, because yeah. you can't get half the um, cool stuff like Rough Riders yeah. in the normal lot. So in the Capric Eagles, exactly, in, the, in yeah. the Scion stuff. So the bikes, they're Rough Riders. Yes, so they're uh, Atalant Jackals that are converted to Rough Riders. Think of them on horses, but bikes are cooler. Yeah. Chain swords, um, the lances. So the base of the lances explode the first time they hit in combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they're stuck in combat, they have to use the chain swords. Yeah. And I've got two melters. A melter on this bike and a melter on... It's a bike, but it's well, a bike. It makes narrative sense that you have some bikes zipping around with this fast strike and fade type of list. Yeah. You can't get bikes and scions, so what do you do? So narratively speaking, well, yeah. they, they follow the Cadian doctrines. They da 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 And then once they've upgraded and proven their worth and survive then they make their way up to the Captain yeah Eagles, they? exactly and then mm. little special weapon squad with some snipers yep. um i found the cadian thing so it's re-roll hit rolls of one and shoot yeah. plays if you stayed still um yeah yeah is that a vendetta yeah so vendetta Firewing, vendetta vulture valkyrie nice um vendetta six last cannons yeah. Um, hitting on fours. If it doesn't move, it's going to move. Yeah. So um, six lance cannons, but it hits on fives, basically, which is yeah. terrible. Yeah. But new addition will change that, which is yeah. cool. Um, sorry. These two squads are going to be going in there. Yeah. Vulture. This thing is awesome. 43 shots with strafe and run. Yeah. Um, and so basically hitting on threes. Constantly. Yeah. It doesn't have a transport capacity. It is basically a gunboat. Yeah. So yeah. three shots from heavy bolter. 40 from the two twin Punisher Gatling cannons. Yeah. He's there to kill. Think of it as a, an A-10 in space. Yeah, is yeah, the yeah. idea. So he's just going to go around laughing and... Um, exactly. Yeah. And then uh, the Valkyrie Judgment, so the command vehicle for this guy. Warlord's going in there along with the three Bulgrins as his like, counterpunch unit. So if he needs to, he can fly forward, drop these guys off, and they can wreak havoc. Um, You've really thought about this, haven't you? Yeah. I, I love well, it. I've had... Th- Three months. <laughs> uh, the only other thing is there's a command point on this for advanced countermeasures, which basically means even if it goes into hover, it's still minus one to hit. Okay. That's nice. it. Well, it is judgment. It is the command vehicle. Yes. Cool. Made it. Brilliant. So um, lots of overlapping rules here, but <laughs> it's going to be fine because you built this from the ground up to be the, what are they called again? The Volcanus 22nd Air Assault Brigade. Volcanus 22nd Air Assault. I love it. Right, let's go on to deploy it. Right, here we are after deployment at table quarters. The Orcs managed to drop first. They only had six drops, so they currently are going first, unless the Astra Militarum managed to seize the initiative. Uh, the Shooter Boys are here. Mega Knobs with Grogachoga and the um, Words. Big Mech with Custom Force Field in that one. So that'll have a five up and vulnerable save. I didn't. And then and then the two uh, Punchy Boys are over here in the truck. So I put them together in case I want to mob up with them looters back here and um, basically there was probably a more tactical way to deploy what i have got here but um it just looks narrative as hell to me that they're sweeping in from this direction and then um uh, i kind of baited sultan because he decided to uh follow suit and just do the narrative thing up his end as well we have uh snipers down here and then there's the Master of Fleet, Master of Ordnance. Basically, two forward air controllers um, are already Im- embedded uh, on the battle grid right and left. Um, you've got some stuff in reserve. Uh, quite a bit, yeah. Quite a bit in reserve because it's Scions, so they can just deep strike in, basically. Yeah, They're shoots. dropping down on their grav suits because high up above are other vehicles flying through the sky. The Scions are here to cleanse and capture this site and to push the Orcs back. But before we start, will the Volcanus 22nd Air Assault Brigade manage to seize the initiative? 
No, they don't. Um, so that basically represents the fact that the Orcs are rumbling on and they're going to get a bit closer. And these guys were maybe delayed fighting a few Dakar jets in the backfield uh, before they managed to get here. But uh, it's going to be Orcs. Turn one. Era Grugga Chugga's orders. He sees the Umis coming and he wants to kill him. He wants to kill him with Dakar. He wants to kill him by punching him in the face. And he wants to take out one of those shiny flyers. All right, here we are at the end of movement phase and shooting phase and everything for the Orcs. <laughs> this is the end of turn one for the Orcs. The truck with the shooty boys is shot off in this direction. He advanced at a range and uh, the big shooter fired up and didn't do anything. And then over here, the death guns in the looter squad, 36 inch range, are out of range of the flyers and they're heavy so I can't advance and shoot them. Um, you can shoot out of the back of trucks. That's one of the things that Orcs do. Because there's 12 boys in there and you think, how can 12 boys fit in a truck like that? They want and them. how can they shoot out? Well, one, they want, yes, the Orc thing they want to, but two, they're not really in it. They're sort of hanging on the side. That's yeah. why they can fit like so many in there. India. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're hanging on the side. They've strapped themselves to. <laughs> it's not. It's very, very open topped, and um, yeah, so they can fire out when it moves. But this thing uh, is out of range, so can't shoot. So what happened was Grugga Chugga kicked the big mech out before all the vehicles started. He was like punched him, and he fell out. Told him to stand there with his custom force field. And I've circled the wagons, so all of the trucks are now within nine, wholly within nine inches of him. So all the trucks have now got a five up invulnerable save. So my original deployment was a bit crap, and I've uh, suddenly fixed it <laughs> after turn one movement. If I'd have got those secure objective three or secure objective one or secure objective, I could have spread out and, and got some objectives. So it wasn't that it was it would have worked if the orders from Grugga Chugga hadn't been just punch stuff, kill stuff. If he had got a bit more tactical, he wouldn't have had to punch the mech boy out of the bone breaker. Oh, and I spent a CP, one CP, on billowing exhaust clouds on the bikes. So they're going to be minus one to hit as they're revving their engine and pulling wheelies, ready to speed off into the ruins. So You're at the end of turn... You're from your poor warlord, aren't you? You need what? to be tactical. I'm an orc. <laughs> yeah, he's not a very... He's not the brightest Grugga Chugga. He's made many, many tactical mistakes. Yeah. Looks cool, though. That's all he cares about. Yeah, yeah. So long as he looks good while he's killing <laughs> stuff, he's happy. Um, yeah, so no first blood. <laughs> um, those objectives, I punch something to death, shoot something to death, or kill a flyer. All three of them are useful, but I don't think I'm going to be shooting a f punching something to death anytime soon. So I'll get rid of that one, blood and guts. So I can draw potentially one of these secure objectives next turn. And that's the end of Orcs turn one. Here are the orders for the Air Assault Brigade. Secure Objective 6 happens to be right in their deployment zone. Assassinate Killer Character. I like it. So secure the drop site and take out some of these characters. That isn't going to be possible in this turn. But Chain of Command... Um, what is this? Score a victory point if you issue three to five different orders. They have to be different. But if you issue six or more different orders, you get D3. With the scream of turbo fans... Jets zipping through the sky. Here we are after the movement phase for the guard. The sniper squad, which were here, have stepped back to secure the forward operating base, Objective 6. And the platoon commander's there with them to give them any orders if they need to. The Torax, Torox, Torox, Torax, I don't know how to say it, is moving forward in that direction with the melter squads in it. This is the only thing that dropped into VTOL mode, the command yeah. uh, Valkyrie, but it's got the minus one to hit anyway in whatever modes. Yeah. And the other two are zipping straight for the prize. Orders. The only thing given out this turn will be uh, bring it down, reroll to wound, reroll one to wound from the platoon commander here. That card, that objective, you're saying you probably keep it. Yeah. Because right now you were only going to give out one or two orders anyway, but next turn you might be able to do the more than five or more than six or whatever. It... Like the max I can do is seven. Yeah, so, so you might get the D3 yeah. next turn when all the rest of the Zions drop down. So yeah. he's shouting out the orders in preparation for the perfect ambush. Opening up the shooting phase, sniper fire from the rangers in the backfield. I did put a mortal wound on the truck. Uh, so it's down to nine left. Then we're coming across to the Tarox, Torox. Uh, firing at this truck here with the battle cannon, heavy D6 shots. Yep, yeah, so battle cannon, D6 for one. <laughs> Great. It's on four. Put 
Does it moved? That yes. misses. Cool. So now we've got auto cannons. Two fours because it's heavy. Hitting on fours with the auto cannons. Three hits. Strength seven. Yes. Tough six. Yes. Tough so six. Threes. One. Minus one. Uh, minus one. Yeah. Two damage. I failed to save. It does do two damage, but ramshackle. Couple of wounds taken off. Then the storm bolt plinked out and didn't damage the truck further. Now the command of Valkyrie. Is in VTOL mode, so it's hitting on threes, firing everything down at this uh, truck here. Well, the last cannon we're hitting a four now, right? Yeah, so single shot from the last cannon, hit yep. on a four. Hits. Hits and wounded on a three. Wounds. Wounds, I don't get a save. So D6 damage. Okay. Six. Six. Nice. On a one, however, ramshackle, you blow off a bit of the truck that I didn't really need. No. No, that did do six damage. Nice. Now the missile pods, assault 2D6, or 1D6 each. Yep. Only three. three shots. So we'll be hitting on threes. Yeah, because of strength, because of um, the VTOL ability. Yeah. And strength five? Uh, strength five, yeah. Yeah. So fives. I can't believe I remembered One. that. Well done. Four up. Five. No, it's fine. There's a heavy bolt on a Valkyrie. Yeah, well, so it? can I have two more dice, please? I'll allow it. Thank you. So is it a twin? Fours. Is it it's a twin? Two heavy bolts, yeah. On, in the doors. But oh, yeah, in the doors. Yeah, they come Fours to hit. Uh, yeah. And then five to wound at minus wound. one. Yeah. I don't make the save. Uh, this truck's only got two wounds left. Right, we're on to the Vendetta. Now in ninth edition, vehicles will be able to move and fire their heavy weapons without penalty. We're not there yet. So Vendetta, three twin las cannons, hitting on fours. As soon as it moves, it hits on fives, right? Yes. But with that dude down there, what's he called? Uh, Officer of the Fleet. Officer of the Fleet. So long as he's got line of sight and range, which is 18, um, it goes back to hitting on fours. Yes. So instead of hitting on fives, he's hitting on fours, which I like very much. Forward air controller there. Yep. And you've decided to put, was it four last cannons this way, two that way? Yeah. Because that's on two wounds left. Yes. <laughs> I want it dead. Okay. Which are we starting with? Should we start with the one that we want dead? Sure. Okay. Start yeah. with the one that you want dead. So fours, one hit. One hit. And then uh, threes. threes. <gasps> Doesn't win. Command point. Okay, it wounds. does wound. It's AP minus three. I have a four up save. I don't get a save. How many wounds is on him? Two. Five. Five wounds. Now, if I roll a one, the ramshackle rule kicks in oh. and the truck lives. I oh. rolled a two. I'm going to command point that. Oh. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> the truck's gone. The truck's gone. Does it blow? It doesn't blow. Twelve boys inside. Um, none of them die. So the boys managed to disembark rather orderly. And now we have four last cannons thumping into the bone breaker on fours. Three hits. And strength nine versus toughness eight. Three to wound. Two wounds. Two wounds. Five up KFF from the mech. I fail them both. 2d6 damage. For six damage, they start off with 16. It's got 10 left. Right, now we're on to the vulture. Now, vulture. Hits on fours, it moves, so back to hitting on fives. It's got strafing runs, so if it shoots anything that hasn't got the fly keyword, back to hitting on fours. That dude down there, <laughs> forward air controller, means it's hitting on threes. It's targeting the bikes, did yes. you say, or the truck? Yeah, the bikes. The bikes. And they've got Billow and Ixhaus going back to hitting on fours. Yeah. So we went up and we talked about this twice to make we sure we got up, it right. Yeah, we ended up at the start line. <laughs> so, so it starts at four, it's finishing on fours, but it's got... Uh, 43 shots in total, yeah. which are all strength 5 AP minus 1. Uh, the So the 40 shots yeah. are just AP dash. AP dash? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the and then three, the three shots are, for it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have to do 20 at a time because my hands are small. Right, okay. Warthog gunship. <laughs> yeah. Spooling up. Where are we, where are we rolling? Let's, let's, do it. let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, Fours. Fours. Salt and you only got five. Out of 20. That's disappointing. <laughs> the other 20. Get more than five. I want to see cool things happen. All right, 19 hits in total. Strength five, toughness five. Winning on fours. Eight wounds. This is really a horde killer, but um, yeah, we can't see them. Uh, four up saves. Oh no. Uh, oh no, that's only four wounds so far, which is a dead bike and one on two wounds, but then there's the heavy bolter. So, fours. And oh. it misses. So you only kill a bike. Yeah, definitely a horde killer, that gunship. Yes. Right, that's the end of the shooting phase, but once per battle, air raid requested. 
So long as he's got line of sight and he's got line of sight on the bone breaker, he can call in an orbital strike. Yeah. Nice. What do you need to roll? So on a one, two, three, nothing happens. Okay. On a four, five, D three mortal wounds. On okay. A six, three mortal wounds. Okay. So Ooh, that's D three more wounds. wounds on the bone breaker. For one. just one, okay. Three so it's more far from the sky. Once per battle, free, yeah, I like it. That guy down there will be able to do it as well, but you can't do it on the same turn. That is the end of turn one, the Volcanus 22nd. Yeah. Move forward, lay down supporting fire, get first blood, and secure the operating base back there for two points. Um, they've hurt one of the bikers, um, but that's about it. And I'm moving around, ready to get into position to pounce. Let's find out what the orc orders are in turn two. Here are Gregor Chugger's orders. Shoot him, shoot flyer, secure four. Okay, here we are after my movement phase and you'll notice I haven't moved very far because basically the orders are to give him some ducker and rip up a flyer. Shoot at a flyer. And I don't want to get, we're in a bit of a, what is the thing when Mexican Nickel. standoff. It's a standoff because you want me out of the vehicle so you can jump on all the things, but I want you out of all the vehicles so I can punch all the things. So it's a bit of a who blinks first. And I'm aware that there's a bunch of scions ready to drop down from the skies. There's rough riders on motorbikes ready to outflank in. So I don't want to get out of my vehicles yet. Who blinks first? Um, I'm on objective four. There's objective four, got lucky with that. The truck is within range. So give them some Daka tear out fly. Now the other option I have is this thing with six Laz cannons, very good at taking out vehicles. That thing with 40 odd shots, very good for killing anything that gets out of the vehicle which one to shoot at and originally off camera i said i'm going to go for the the vendetta yeah but i think i might go for the vulture oh. because no oh. <laughs> <laughs> because these guys are gonna get out of vehicles next turn or get shot out of vehicles and then 40 odd shots hitting on fours or threes if it hovers and wounding on three you're just gonna rinse through a squad of boys at a time i can't have that and I was thinking as well, Laz cannons, I don't really mind if you blow up trucks. I mind if you blow up that, but trucks I'm kind of happy with. So I think I'll fire everything I can at the vulture. Meanwhile, in the assault phase, these guys are going to try and charge and surround the Torx down here. Anyway, oh, at the end of the movement phase, Big Mac, I rolled a three. He's put three more wounds, he's put bits, hammered and nails bits back on the bone breaker. It's back up to six wounds. I spent the CP for billowing exhaust clouds on the bikes one more time, minus one to hit, only makes sense. And we're going to start off with my big mech. You can't see the vulture, so it is going to fire its custom mega blaster at the flyer. That's a four, he misses, and the custom shooters miss as well. So now we're onto the bikes. Lots of shots with their DACA guns, hitting on sixes, and sixes explode with DACA, DACA, DACA. Seven hits, winning on fives. One, two, three, four. I did four wounds. Four wounds, but it is AP dash, so you get full three up arm three save. A plink one a wound, wound off. Just one wound. Right, let's do the looters. Let's spend two CP on more DACA. So fives and sixes explode. They have D3 shots each. <gasps> I lucked out there. That's 36 shots. And fives and sixes explode with more DACA. Dude, that's a lot of hits. That's a lot of hits. <laughs> And more hits. <laughs> no. Strength seven. Toughness seven. Force to wound. Nine wounds. Could have been worse. Minus one. So fours. So he takes You're one, okay. two, three, four wounds. Uh, it's bad. two damage each. Oh, eight so wounds. Eight <laughs> wounds. Right, it's got five left. Everything from the bone breaker. Big shooters. Sixes explode. Wounding on fives. Nothing. But maybe the kill cannon can do it. D6 shots. Five. Six is to hit, however. <gasps> oh, that one's cocked. That's a six. That one's cocked. That's a six. Two sixes. Sixes explode, however. So, two sixes. Two sixes. You've got five wounds left, right? Yes. This is two damage weapon. You'll be okay. Strength eight, though. Oh. Wounding on threes. Command, command point. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Minus two, two damage. So two five up saves. Oh. It's on one wound. Right, one wound left. 
I've got a big shooter on that truck, big shooter on that truck, big shooter on that truck. 36 inch range, three shots each. I'm going to do them all at the same time. Yeah, I'm going to... <laughs> One wound. Six is to hit. One. One hit, which generates another hit. One hit. <laughs> uh, big shoot is a strength 28. Okay, so ones. Uh, strength five. Doesn't wound. And I'm looking around and looking around and uh, there's no more guns. There's no more guns. One wound left. Well, he's bracketed, right? Very much so. So your gunship won't be hitting as much. I haven't given him some dagger or scour disguise yet. He's just a ship now, isn't but he? He's just a ship, no <laughs> gun. <laughs> All right, so we're on to the shooter boys. They're going to put everything into the Torox in front of them. On fives. Sixes explode. Daka, daka, daka. Strength four, so fives to wound. Three three up saves. Fine. I don't scratch the surface. But now, now we will charge. We do have watch in a second. Okay. I want a long charge, so I'm going to re-roll that. Nine. The idea of a long charge is to try and wrap it and be... Sneaky and brutal and cunning and so when the guys spill out of it after I crack it open then um, uh, I can slaughter them and eat them and feast on their skulls. Just like Mork and or possibly Gork. Yes. The boys charge the Tower Ox. You rudely killed two in Overwatch. I'm surrounding it like this, clambering all over its hull. Here's all the normal boys without their claw. Um, uh, yeah, not the claws. Not the claw. I'll do the claw in a minute. And of course, I've got smacker, 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 because we're goths. Yes. Five to wound. Five threat saves. One wound. I, I rip off a wing mirror. I like that. Is it? I needed that wing mirror to reverse. Um, boss knob with his claw. Ah, no smackers. Two hits. Strength ten. One wound at minus three. Six up save. Oh. No. D3 damage for two more. The Tarok struck back, didn't do anything. That's the end of the fight phase. I'm okay with that because the boys can't get shot at now as they're clambering all over the hull and trying to rip it apart. And the Tarox can't reverse or move out of there. And the guys inside can't get out. In fact, the only way to free up that Tarox with the Melter dudes and Flamer dudes inside is to assault it with something, which makes sense to me. You know, when yep. someone's AP attacking a tank, an APC, you're not going to order your men to shoot at the APC. Yeah, I think the last cannon would kill our guys. Yeah. So, um, do you um, put some... Og Where are the Ogrims? They're in that one. They've got basically, as soon as they get out, they can, they're within an inch. <laughs> they can charge. <laughs> and that's already in veto. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> the boys may not be long for this world. But at the end of that turn, um, I secured an objective. I've got a point. He said, take that one. Let's have a look at the loot down there. So it's two points to one. I haven't given anyone any dagger yet or taken out a flyer, but I'm still going to keep hold of those two cards until the next turn. Damn when it. When is your trying? That's it. <laughs> it marks out a 10 for trying. Uh, <laughs> three, because orcs can't account higher than that. It's right, clever. guard, turn two. Right. Field Commander Sedexus discarded uh, Assassinate, the Assassinate Order. In this turn, he's ordering troops on the ground, basically control three to five objectives with infantry, get D3 points. Hold the line, make sure that there are three units completely within your deployment zone. And remember, it's that weird quarter deployment zone and no enemies. There are three back there, one of them being an officer of the fleet. And then chain of command, give out a lot of orders. Basically, control objectives, control deployment zone, the forward operating base, and shout a lot of orders. Could be a chance for the guard to run away with it here. Here we are after the guard movement phase. We believe they can complete all their objectives, so the Sultan has decided to keep all the reserves off the table for now. There are three units in the deployment zone back here. That's hold the line. One of them is holding an objective. Another unit of infantry are holding an objective. Another unit of infantry are holding an objective. That's boots on the ground. So the vendetta, very interesting. Double checking the rules here. Before it moved, we selected that unit and they got out. So they don't have to do any of the combat drop thingy bob because you select the unit. No, no, no. And then it moved. And then at any point along its movement phase, you can do the drop, shoot, insertion thing. So then you did with a second unit, they dropped out. Yeah. And then you spent the CP so you don't have to roll. Yeah. Because when you drop, drop out, precision drop. Yes. Because yeah. when you roll, when they drop out on ones, they die. Because <laughs> it's going really quickly. Yeah. So the Kappa Eagles boots have hit the ground there and there. 
and you've got three objectives and holding the line and now you just need to give out some orders so that slammed on its air brakes and went poof, stop because now it hasn't moved so it would be hitting on sixes with strafing yeah. run it's hitting on fives you put the order on it one more time from yeah. the forward air control but hitting on fours not bad and this thing stayed in VTOL mode yeah because it's always got the minus one to hit. Plus this way, he's got his big order bubble, which yep. is 20, what inches? 24 inches from the hull. 24 inches, three orders with his uh, warlord trait there. Yep. But of course, before it moved, he ordered the Ogrins out to take care of these green skins down here. And then chain of command, you need three different orders. So you're putting what on these yep. guys? So this one's gonna have bring it down. So okay. uh, reroll room rolls of one for all the models in the unit. Yep. Uh, these guys are gonna have elimination protocol sanctions. So reroll all failed wounds against uh, vehicles and monsters. Okay. And then these guys can have first rank fire, second rank fire, which works on hot shot too, and they're gonna fire at the bike or something. And that's chain of command, and that's all your orders. Yep. Perfectly parade ground drilled precision. Yes. Opening up shooting face, snipers fired at the bikers, didn't do any wounds there. Now we're on to the Capic Eagles. You are overcooking the two plasma because yep. you are in rapid fire range of the bone breaker. Yeah. So four shots because there's two plasma there. Hit on twos. Hitting on twos essentially. It's plus one to hit. So even if you'd have rolled a one there at plus one to hit, it'd have become a two. They couldn't have possibly overcooked themselves. Yeah. I like it. On the turn that they disembarked from a vehicle on a flyer. Okay, so two uh, four hits. Yeah. Uh, strength eight, toughness eight. Was rerolling all failed wounds because of the order. It's Everything wounds. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, five up KFS saves. Uh, I make one, six and that's damage. six damage. It's only got six left. Sergeant's got plasma pistol. He can see you did roll a hit, yep. wounding on a four, and it wounds. Jeez. And I make the save that time. Nice. Hotshot weaponry could not see. Now we're on to this squad here that have got front rank fire, second rank fire. We've got yeah. hotshot guns coming in. You're hitting the bikers. Yeah. Uh, threes. Twos, because they jumped out of the transport. Back to threes, because of billowing exhaust cloud. Good so job. all four here. Fives. Fives to wound, yes sir. So if you minus two, right? Then another wound. Didn't but you? another wound anyway. Yeah. Got a couple of plasma. Now are you overcooking? Because ones you will hurt yourself because of the minus one. Uh, yeah, we'll continue to overcook so there in rapid fire range. <laughs> okay. So four shots. Okay. You've got to do two and two just to see if one dies. So one dies. One yeah. dies. Unless I do a CP. <laughs> Unless you do a CP, yeah. I'm going to see how his mate hits. And okay. Decide. Okay. Oh dear. So they both oh dear, die. So oh I want to keep one of those alive. <laughs> so um, the guy who actually did well at hitting. Yeah. Okay, That's that billowing exhaust cloud yeah. kicked in there. I killed one of your dire guys and made you spend a CP for a CP for me. Okay, so we've got two hits, uh, wounding on threes, one wound, uh, minus three, two damage. I don't get a save and one's got two wounds left. So he mashes the finger, trigger, trigger, finger. He mashes, he pulls the trigger. Sprays plasma all over the place, kills the biker, and it blows up in his face, and he dies screaming. Screams with the emperor's name on his lips. Yeah. <laughs> the emperor! What did you just say, then? Uh, so this guy is the first model that's been killed <laughs> on my team. And you killed him yourself? Yeah. I don't know how Only I feel. Only I may take him. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Now we're on to the flyers. We're going to do the vulture at the bikes, as discussed. It would be hitting on fours, but with billowing exhaust cloud, hitting on fives because of that guy with the buff, and then that guy with the negative 40. Many shots, hitting on fives. Eight wounds came through with the two Punisher Gatlin cannons, four up saves. Uh, that's one dead bike, two dead bikes, and one injured. Then the heavy bolter failed to wound anyone, but that was a grievous blow. Now we're doing the Vendetta. All six shots firing in at the bone breaker, but hitting on fives because you're moved yeah. and you get two hits anyway you're going to be wounding on threes two and wounds. both of them wound five of them vulnerable saves only six wounds left on this bone breaker i'm going to command point i need i'd like to keep it alive good luck no okay 2d6 damage do one at a time if you want to let's see five. one damage need a five or six Oh. What are those niggas? And you've already spent a command point in the shooting phase. Uh -huh. So you can't, it's only two. It's uh, just, uh, yeah, all six shots as it flies through the sky. It just must have peppered the ground around here and just not damaged. Blown off grots. Yeah, a <laughs> bit of oilers hanging on the side. And last room left, fire the command at Valkyrie. Judgment. So you're going to put the last cannon into the bone breaker, everything else into the bikes. Now, yeah. this did uh, stay in VTOL mode. So it's in on fours. 
And now we're hitting on threes because that because the forward air controller. Yep. So a last cannon firing into the bone breaker, hitting on a three. And it misses! Oh, it misses! The oh. bone breaker will live. And then we've got all the other shots. Uh 2D6 from the missile pods coming in to the knob bikers. Three. Only three hits. Oh. Maybe all the rockets were expended so. last turn. Threes to hit. Fours to hit because of the billowing exhaust cloud things. Yep. Yeah, and then fours to wound. One wound. One wound. He's oh. fine. Heavy bolters. Fours to wound. One, wound. one more wound. AP minus one. Oh. He's fine still. And that is the end of the shooting phase. Uh, to be fair, it could have been much, much worse for me. Um, you didn't manage to take out any of these vehicles, and no. but have severely depleted the knobs on bikers. Now we go into the charge phase. Bulgrins into the orcs, and they are occupied, so they cannot overwatch. With avalanche of muscle, we have thirteen attacks on the charge, hitting on threes. Bulgrin mauls, uh, wound on threes. Five boys died. I pulled from this side, trying to bait Sultan in to consolidate the full distance because my claw, my power claw is here and he wouldn't have been able to fight um, because he would have been too far away. And if the Sultan had consolidated all the way in, then my claw would have been able to fight back. But as it stands, the Orcs don't get to fight. That's the end of that combat. They have a morale to take. Their leadership is six. I lost five guys. Uh, six plus four is, uh, sorry, five plus four is nine. Leadership six or seven? I think it's six, one minute. Seven with a boss knob. So that nine means I lose two more boys. Also, I lost two knobs on bikes. So if I roll a six over there, I'm going to lose another one. I'm okay. And the VOR 22nd achieve all of their objectives in turn two. They've got boots on the ground, chain of command. They're holding the line. So one for chain of command, one for holding the line, and D3 points for boots on the ground. That's it's great. the big three, people. And so at the end of turn two, it's seven points to one in favor of the guard. Now, I just need a couple of points. I just need to blow up this vulture, which is in veto mode. I can charge it and that will get me a couple of points and get the boys back in this game. Let's find out what Grugger Chugger's orders are in turn three. Here are his orders. Give him some DACA. Scale the skies. Take out one of those fly things and secure objective one. This is the end of the movement phase for the orc. Seven points to one. But um, I should be able to get every single one of my objectives this game and get back into the battle. I've got a plan, guys. Stick with me. Now, it's we'll start off down here because there's not much of a plan down here. Mm -hmm. These guys saw some loot in that direction and all their mates got cut down. So they're going to have a look in the loot. It's not bait. I don't want you to charge them with your ogrins or waste the torax and all the guys inside just shooting at three orcs. It's not bait. They're, I might that, have to do that. That's, yeah. <laughs> plus, they're on an objective. Oh. So, and they're a troop choice on an objective there. So... If I sent them that way into the things, then they would die. But this way, you're going to have to deal with the troop choice on the objective. So that's subtle down here. Right. Give them some dacker and scour the skies. That's on one wound left. Didn't move the truck with the looters in it. Put all the dacker into that two points, right? Yeah. Simple. There's objective one. Kill them. Now, the truck can eat the overwatch. Those guys can go flying in. Those are knobs on bikes. They should be able to chop down a couple of scions, five scions. That's all three of my objectives. And then suddenly it's seven points to four. Meanwhile, that's in VTOL mode. Yeah. With your Warlord in it. Yeah. <laughs> so Mega Nobs got out. They can charge around that way with Grugger Chugger. Boys got out of that truck before it moved. And we've got boys charging that, a ram on that. This is hovering too close to the ground. He's shouting out orders left, right, and all over the place. Maybe I can take out some flyers, both of the flyers, and that squad, and that squad, and oh mama. Get me lots and lots and lots of loot. Also, he put another three wounds back on the bone breaker. Hooray. The unkillable bone breaker. <laughs> oh, so please. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, okay, let's shoot some guns. Let's do all of the dagger from the looters up into the uh, vulture. I need me. I need me scout the skies. Number of shots. <gasps> they only have 12 shots. Fives to hit. Daka, 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 daka. Fours to wound. 
One wound at AP minus one. One four up save on the vulture. Oh! We have a vulture down. We have a vulture down. You're thinking? You're not thinking? thinking well, command? You could command point it. I'm just going to keep throwing guns at yeah. it until it dies. Your CPN re-rolling and it's still alive. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to do is the big shooters from the truck into the scions underneath and the big cannon is going to go for the vulture. Here's the uh, big shooters hitting on fives with, with a daka 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 and they're strength five. So I'm wounding you on threes yep. and your infantry have a four up save, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, with a carapace. I two kill nine. two and then the kill cannon is d6 shots for five shots. Hitting on fives into your hovering vulture. Ooh. I miss every single time. Right. Big mech with custom mega blaster. He wants to loot it. He's going to shoot his custom mega blaster. And he misses. All right. Grogu Chugger, you've got a rocket. Yep. On the end of a pistol. <laughs> One shot. He's not going to fire the combi part. Just his rocket. And he misses. Okay. So the mega noms that are with him are going to fire. They've got four shots each and two of them have got custom shooters. They're going to fire wildly into the air at the vulture. Hitting. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that! Daka 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 daka. But it's fives to wound. It's a strength four. So it's an anti infantry weapon. Daka 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 daka. Okay, so you've got to make four three up saves to keep your vulture alive. Riddled it with holes. I've riddled it with holes. We have a vulture down. We have a vulture down. Does it blow up? Is it fuel tank? No, its no. fuel tank is not penetrated. It will just spiral off and crump into the distance. Yeah. After the vulture got torn down, I fired the rest of my small arms. We had um, shooters going to the Torx, doing nothing. We had all the guns that could reach out and touch the Valkyrie went into it. And I took a wound off of it. And then round here, the 12 shots from the dagger guns into... Well, I missed. <laughs> the Emperor protected. They're busy revving their engines, ready to go charging in there. So we're now on to the charge phase. What's going to happen here is the truck's going to eat the overwatch, then the bikes are going to go in. Round here, we're going to have Mega Knobs charge the Scions. Bonebreaker charge that. All the boys charge that. And I'll figure out where Grugachuga goes once I've done all that. And remember, Orcs can reroll charges. No damage to the truck on the way in, and then the bikers went wheeling in there. Um, you were overcharging your plasma weapons, Reed, because you said they're dead anyway. Yeah. And the sergeant plasma pistol blew up in his hand while yeah. he was mashing the trigger. I refuse to believe he shot himself in the head, so it's coming, <laughs> but uh, that might have been what happened. Over here, I just wanted to show you guys this. This is the reroll. Um, no damage to the bone breaker. And what it did was charge weirdly, spin round here. Because I'm trying to block off as much movement, take board control away from this side of the battle grid. Um, then the boys are going to charge in because I ain't firing no more. Uh, they'll make it. Then the mega knobs around the corner. Oh, they're definitely going to make it. And it looks like this. And I left a gap under the flyer for Grugger Chugger because he wants to get involved. I'll reroll the two. Six. I think, I think we're on within seven. Right, Grogger Chugger gets there. We'll start with him because this is going to be very exciting. All war bosses, four attacks, plus one strength and plus one attacks for might, his right, his warlord traits. So five attacks. He hits on twos. And any sixes, that's cool. any sixes would be um, smacker, 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 smacker. Yeah. Strength six. He gets plus one strength, so it gets into strength seven. Mm -hmm. And then the killer claw is double his strength, plus one strength for might, his right. So he's strength 14. Toughness seven. Toughness seven. I'm wounding on twos. And a reroll failed wounds with this weapon. Yeah, if you needed that. And it's minus three, a flat three damage. So you need a bunch of sixes to keep your flyer alive. One you make six, one. Nine wounds. That's nine wounds off of him. Hmm. Right, do you want to pay to interrupt anywhere? No, they're only silence. How could you say such a thing? <laughs> Straight three. They are the shock troops. They are the Valhallen... The Vol what are they? Volcanus. The Volcanus 22nd, yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to the boys. There's a power claw in that. There's the power claw in that squad. Let's try and finish off this vulture. Threes to hit with a plow claw. Two smacker, smacker, smackers with goths. So that is four hits. Power claw. He's strength 10. He wounds three times at minus three. 
Oh, so more sixes. More sixes required. You make one, yeah. it's got four wounds left, and this is 2d3 damage. Oh. We have a Valkyrie down, we have a Valkyrie down. Does he blow up? Please blow up. Nope. Doesn't blow up. How many guys are inside, including Just your warlord? warlord? Only your warlord. Only the warlord. <gasps> Don't roll a one! <gasps> Have you rolled a one in the? Have you? You can no, re-roll that. Yeah, I think I do you, need to. you don't have to. You could leave the one and your warlord and that slay. You could. You could let. I, fate. I could let you in. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. If you roll a one again, this yeah. is slay the warlord. Yeah. Oh. Nice, okay. I mean, he's he's dead next, but. <laughs> Next, I will select a charging model and pile into the closest enemy unit within three inches. I think Sedexus is in trouble. He's gonna get rumbled. First time I've used this model. <laughs> uh, Bone Breaker. Okay, four to seven. He's got D6 attacks and add D6 to the attacks characteristics of this model in the fight phase until the end of that phase if it charged. Okay, so two D6 attacks. Uh, eight. It's got eight attacks. Death Roller, add three to hit rolls. So instead of hitting on fives, I'm hitting on twos with eight attacks against your Warlord. This is exciting, isn't it? This is, has he got an Invun? Has no. he got an Invun? <laughs> no. He's got to have an Invun or a Factor Field or something. No twos to hit. Okay. Um, did we get... It's a Goff. It's, got, it's a Goff. It's got an Orc Clan keyword. So those are three Smacker Smacker Smackers. There we go. That's 10 crumps with the roller. Yeah. Uh, strength plus one. Strength seven. What's his toughness? Three. Toughness you me. <laughs> yeah. Wounded on twos. Okay, right. And that's uh, minus two, two damage. Okay. So he has six of saves. <laughs> does he sure he doesn't have an in run? I, I would double check, but I want to say. Yeah. Uh, okay. Six up saves. No in run. Two damage each. Bye. I think he might be two, yeah. four, six, eight, and that's cocked even if, yeah, two yeah. do we appreciate. I think I just pancaked your warlord. And onto the mega knobs, there's two with kill source. So four attacks hitting on fours. Sorry, that's four attacks each with a kill source. So eight attacks hitting on fours, wounding on twos at strength 10 minus four, two damage. I think that's two more of the Zion's dead. And then there's two guys with claws. They hit on fours. Smacker, smacker, smacker. Unmodified. And wounding on twos. And they're at minus three D6, D3 damage each. Did they? Yeah. The, <laughs> the mega knobs ran them down. So those were mega knobs. These are knobs on bikes. They have three attacks each with their big choppers. They will, swinging. They will hit on threes. Ooh. And no smacker, smacker, smackers, and you're a troop choice. Yeah. Mind you, big choppers are uh, strength seven, Two. toughness of you, me. I wound your time. It's AP minus one, only one. You have five up saves. Two, five up saves. Uh, oh, two die, there's one left. There's one left. The truck's gonna have to pancake the last one. Truck has three attacks, it hits on fives. <gasps> and that's it. No, not spending the CP, but uh, it's leadership six because there's a spit and pester shot himself. Oh yeah, uh, I think he's running. Yeah. I think he is Fall running. back to fight another day. Maybe he re-embarked inside the uh, vendetta here. So that is the end of my turn three. I've made a comeback. I have taken this objective. I have scoured the skies and given some DACA. And I've slayed the warlord for that bonus chicken dinner that I didn't see coming whatsoever. And... I have significant ball control in the middle of the table. All of a sudden, it's looking like a very different fight. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Seven points to four. You're still winning, and you still have some reserves to come on. Some rough riders. Some guys are going to jump down from the sky on wings of fire. Yep. Do they have wings of fire? Uh, I think they have parachutes. Parachutes. Uh, things. You set them on fire. Yeah. Hopefully, they haven't been set on fire. <laughs> Not yet. No. Um, my bone breaker is considered... is. Basically unkillable at this stage. Grogu Chug was stood right there, and there are snipers looking at him. So things are about to get very interesting as we go to guard turn three. You ready the orders in turn three for the Volcanus 22nd? They want to kill stuff and take the field. No prisoners, kill anything at all. It's a point. If you kill three units, it's D3. Area denial is probably not possible. Orcs are swarming all over the center of the battle grid. And supremacy, take any three objectives for D3 points as well. 
Seven points to four. The guard took a hammering last turn, but they are in the lead and they have an opportunity to get D3 points for supremacy this turn. Not area denial, however. Kill a unit, that's another point. So over here, units disembarking from the Tarox. There's Flame is here, yep. and there's a troop choice outnumbering a troop choice on an objective there. Let's not forget you are on an objective over there as well. And then the Ogrins pushed up along with Captain Tyrannus. Uh, Tempesta Talos Rain. Talos Rain got out with his command squad with a bunch of melters looking at the bone breaker. And for the first time in this battle, it isn't in range of the custom force foot. The mech is all the way over here. It charged, and currently your warlord is wrapped around the death roller. Let's, uh, I just, in case you forgot. <laughs> yeah, there's some pace. In case, down there. yeah, he's just, yeah. So, um, you can finally take out the bone and breaker. Um, and that would be kill another unit. Remember, if you kill three units, that's another D3 on top of the D3 for supremacy. To get supremacy, however, you're going to have to make some nine inch charges. The yeah. Rough Riders have come on, nine inch charge into the truck. These guys drop down from the sky, nine inch charge this way as well. You've done that to guarantee, to help to guarantee the charge. Because if someone fails, then the other unit could potentially charge in and yep. then the siren command squad dropped in here i like the shenanigans over here you said there's a strat you can do yeah what is it so it's called tactical air control right if uh, this guy can't see this flyer he's out of range he can use any other militarum tempestus vox unit right that's in within light uh siren, line, of, line of sight and range there we right go. okay line of sight and range and do the same thing so we can give strafing run to this even though he can't see it he can radio him and say tell him to do this Right, okay, so it's one CP yep. and he can get he gets that ability. Yeah. So it's hitting on fours instead of hitting on fives. Yes. With all of its lance cannons. All of its lance cannons. And basically you don't you, you know, I mean you could shoot at the bikers and just charge the truck, or you could shoot up the field and hit the bone breaker. You've that gives you options. You don't need to spend it until yep. you have to shoot it. So wait and see. Wait and see what happens. So potentially, even though you took a bit of hammer in and the balks how orcs have sent center of the battle grid they have battle grid control the signs are now all over the ruined installation at the back of this battle grid and are preparing to push the orcs out and to make them bleed okay opening up the shooting phase and the orders phase we're going to do it at the same time um Scions, getting out of a transport with your caskin, they're caskins, guys. The uh, Capic Eagle stuff, yeah. These are Capic Eagles. Yeah. So they're hitting on twos because they just got out of there. Yeah. And you've given them reroll all fail wounds yeah. for the orders. Elimination protocols. Into the bone breaker. Yes. You really want it dead. Die. <laughs> okay, so three melters hitting on twos because you just disembarked. This one's. And strength eight versus toughness eight, winning on fours. And re-rolling all fair wounds, Kappa Eagles, Scions, mm. yeah, AP minus four. I don't get a save. So two D six damage. Yeah, numbers. so and it's got seven left. First one. That's six. Six, and then the second one. Because you are in melter range. Four. Ten damage off the bone breaker. It dies and Ooh. doesn't blow. So for vengeance for your warlord, you've taken out that bone breaker. Then we're coming onto this squad here with hot shots and dual flamers flaming into the orcs. So the orcs have been barbecued quite quickly by this squad over here. Now we're on to the Cadian squad, all the ones with the Cadian type rules, firing into Grugga Chugga with sniper weaponry, reroll wounds rolls of one with the order, bring yeah. it down or something. And reroll hit rolls of ones for the Cadian thing. Yeah. Sixes do more wounds. Force to hit. Rerolling ones. One okay. more to wound. That's to hit. You got a wound now. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh fives four, to wound. Fives. Oh, that does a wound. Does a wound because he is toughness five. Yeah. And he makes his save however. Krugatuga dodges the blow. Now we're onto the Tarox, which stays still. We're doing Stormbolter into boys. Yep. And the anti-tank weaponry, the battle cannon and auto cannon, into the tanks, the Meganoffs. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we starting? Uh, we'll do the Stormbolt first, get cool. out of the way. So yeah. we're hitting on threes. Yeah, we stay still. Forced wound. One wound. One wound. Six up save. A boy dies. Auto cannons on threes. Threes to wound. And this is minus one, two damage. So they have a two up save, which becomes a three up. They save it. Nice. Battle cannon. D6 shots. Yes. Four, Four shots. Hitting on threes. Everything hits. Winning on twos. Everything Ooh, nasty. And this is minus two. Yeah. So they need to make four up saves. And they fail two. And it's a flat three damage. That's oh. two dead Meganobs. Tell a lie. Don't know where I got that rule from. It's D3 damage each time. They have three wounds each. So the first one does 
two, and the second one. Okay, so yep. instead of killing two Mega Nobs, you only kill one. Yep. I'll buy that for a dollar. I think I'll take that one away because those guys are closer. Okay, that could have been worse for me. That could have been better for you. Yep. Right, then we move from this side of the battle grid down into the industrial installation. The command squad are firing at the bikes. Their exhaust clouds are not billowing this time, so it isn't minuses to hit. So what we're we going to overcharge the plasma because nice. there's two wounds. I like it. So hitting on threes. One miss. On hit. Winning on one on a three. I don't have a save versus that. That does two damage. It wipes out one of them. Then the hotshot las guns failed to hurt the last biker. So we're now onto this squad here. Um, you've got two hotshot volley guns coming yep. in, which is four shots each. Now these are heavy, so you would normally hit on fours because you're moved. Mm -hmm. But with the casking trait, you're hitting on threes with eight shots. Strength mm -hmm. four, winning on fives. On toughness five, One and it's uh, AP minus two. Yep. Okay, he takes a wound. He's got two left, and then there's a plasma gun in there. Yep, plasma gun on sergeant. Okay. So hitting on a three. He hits. Uh, You're sorry, in rapid fire, dude. Uh, his pistol. Ah, okay. Yeah. I shouldn't Wouldn't say it was I... overcharged, but it's a bit late now. It's fine. We'll go with the one wound. Oh, uh, you would have definitely overcharged. You've been overcharging everything. <laughs> that yeah. wounds. It's overcharged. Minus three, I have a four up save. I'm happy to say you would have done it because you've been overcharging uh, everywhere all thank the you. time. Yeah, I was anyway, to say. I would have done it. I would have overcharged. So he's dead. So they've fired in. These the sirens have appeared, fired down. They've cleared away the knob bikers ready for the charge. Mm -hmm. We've got some small arms now plinging into the truck. No damage caused to the truck. Now we're on to the Mendetta. You are spending the CP, so it's hitting on fours. Yeah. And you're firing down at the truck with the looters, hoping the explosion will kill the looters as well. Fingers crossed. So uh, four shots, fours to hit. Uh, six shots, fours to hit. Six shots, fours to hit, yeah. Uh, only two hits. Okay. Wounding on Oops. that. That wounds. Um, am I wholly within nine inches of my mech? No, just out. Just out. Hmm. Mistakes were made. Two to six damage. Right, <clears throat> uh, two damage becomes a one with ramshackle. Nope, so that's two damage. And the six damage will become a one with ramshackle. Cool. No, so that does do eight damage. It doesn't blow up the truck though, it's still got two left. Ooh. Right, and that's the end of the shooting phase. We have the bone breaker down, we have the mega knobs injured. The knob on war bikes have been wiped out. And now the guard need to make this nine inch charge to get all the points. We're starting with the rough riders. I've done the overwatch, no damage caused, so it's a nine inch charge on the truck. And that's Ooh. a fail, you can CP it, but you've got another chance over there. I think it's worth CP it, just because they're good in combat. It's a 50-50 chance as well, you just need a four. Or three, oh, sorry. That's nope. a one. Nope, down to three command points left. Yep. I'll do the overwatch on the other unit. Uh, I actually hit this time, and get two dackers. Uh, so two hits. Two wounds on the unit that's going to be charging in, and I take one out. And now you need to make a nine inch charge with the Zions over there. Good luck, sir. There you go. One away. <sighs> one away. That's a failed charge. Uh, and now the command squad killed the bikes. We measured up. That's a 10 inch charge. I get to overwatch again. There's a Dakar. Uh, one hit. I wound. I uh, kill one. It's medic away at the back. Take the medic away. Really? He's the medic. Ah, oh, but the Vox is useful. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, we can speak about it in a second. Let's yeah. do this tennis charge. We need to see if you can get in there. This right. is for all the points. Oh, yo! <laughs> they come charging through the rough. <laughs> right, you took the flag away because you can always get him back with the medic. 10 inch charge puts you here. Yeah. Then when we go into the fight phase, you can pile into the closest model. And then you're closer to the charging model, and even though they're not troops, you do outnumber me on that objective there, yep. making sure that you have supremacy. That piling will happen in the fight phase. Um, are you charging anywhere else, or are you just going to not worry about this? We'll just, we'll just deal with that. <laughs> um. <laughs> yes, we're charging with the Borgrins. You've declared my Warlord as well as the Orcs. That'd be 11 to get to my Warlord. I've done some Overwatch, did a bit of damage, but um, made some saves. Six to them, just... Six to them, eleven to my warlord. You're declaring them both. That's enough to get to the boys. And they end up there staying back a little bit, staying out of heroic intervention range. That was, uh, if you could have got the charge, you'd have put the, everything into my warlord, but yeah. as you didn't, you're going to smack the boys. Yeah. 13 attacks with avalanche and muscle. So, so threes. 
And killing on threes, this will ignore my armor save. Ooh, and he killed seven boys. That was rather painful. Then we went over here and you attacked my truck, didn't do any damage. So then it was my turn to fight, so I attacked back with my truck. I didn't do any damage. So now I'm gonna come back here and attack your Bulgrins with my boys. Three normal boys with slugger choppers on threes. And look, I get two smacker, three smacker smacker smackers. Uh, that many. Your toughness five though, right? Yep. So I'm winning on fives. Um, I wound you three times. Three two ups because of the slab shield. I need to make them all. And then my boss knob. Um, he gets a smacker smacker. Nice. He hits three, which doesn't generate further hits. He hits you three times. He's strength 10. So I wound you three times at AP minus three. So with your slab shield, you get five up saves. How much right? damage per? D3. Okay, so each one could kill one if he gets yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, if you want to say, so five up saves. Yeah. <gasps> so, two D3 damage okay. against them. Okay, first one. Lives. Lives, and? Dies. I just kill one. Right, then I lost eight this phase, so we have morale. So they fail. So my war boss then does breaking heads and does D3. The three mortal wounds on that unit. <laughs> So Du Bois went to run away. So he turned around and shot a couple down and smacked their head in as they come running past him. And the boss knob with the power claw decided to stick around. Because <laughs> he's more scared of my war boss than he is of these dudes here. Look at him. And uh, he's, a, he's a chunky lad. Yeah. Uh, that is the end of your comeback. And what a comeback. Um, how many units did you completely kill? Because you've got no prisoners. You took out the bone breaker. You took out this unit down here. Two. I think it's just two. And you did the non oh, the, the bikes, bikers. yeah, it's so three. So that's three for D3. And D3 points for supremacy. Oh, yeah. You'll get in... Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was the other order? Uh, the one at Area Denial. Area Denial. You so haven't tried, got that. But... I'm still here. Yeah. So you get D3 points for no prisoners and D3 points for supremacy. Don't so... roll two sixes, please. First one. One. Second one. Three. Four. Four more. It's 11 points to four for the Volcanus 22nd Air Assault Brigade. Their warlord may have been taken out, but they are surrounding and picking apart this orc force. However, last term we saw a brutal comeback for the orcs. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what they can do now in turn four. However, the clock is ticking. We're getting closer and closer towards the end game now. And here are the orders from Grugga Chugga. Overwhelming firepower, full and full of DACA. Grab the loot, I need objective two, and defend objective three. Right, 11-4, I'm a little bit worried, but if I shoot something, I should be okay. And the amount of assets that the guard have to actually score objectives in turn four or turn five are greatly reduced. The truck that was in combat has reversed, beep, 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 and the truck that wasn't, was still, there's still 12 slugger chopper boys there as me move forward. I thought about getting them out, but I need to shoot them, not stab them. <laughs> so move them forward so they can all shoot them. That's one unit. Shoot another unit. There's this command squad over here with melters. So um, the looter boys can see that squad there. And then shoot a third unit. I don't, I don't think I can shoot a third unit. But I am defending that objective. He's on it. He's a character stood on there. The boy who was in close combat has wandered off in that direction because he's seen something shiny in the distance. He's seen a Mr. Magoo. He's, he's like, oh, look, something shiny. <laughs> he's suddenly stopped fighting. He's gone that way because, look, there's Grugga Chugga and Mega Knobs and we can jump on whatever's left here and kill it, which means there should be just some stuff over here, some stuff. I should have quite a nice, even though it's 11-4, I should have a nice footprint. I should. It's only turn four. And in turn five, win? Or turn six, turn we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's shoot some guns, sluggers from the boys in the truck into those dudes there on fives. Five hits with the Dakar, threes to wound. Four, four up saves. Oh, they get wiped out. And there's give them some Dakar. Or overwhelming firepower, sorry. Anyway, there's, there's a big shooter on this truck, big shooter on that truck. I'm gonna shoot at them with the two shooters. And um, fives to hit, only two hits, but I do get a Dakar. Uh, three hits, it is strength five. Uh, two wounds, two four up saves on the command squad. Two die. Trying to shoot as much as I can. Custom shooter from the Mega Knobs. Only one hit with a dagger. Only one hit. Doesn't wound. Grugga Chucker's rocket. Mm. They're three wounds, right? Yes. 
Ah, oh, fire him. Yeah, he hits. And he doesn't win. Just swapping around some models there because of charging. Mm -hmm. He missed. So the last thing left to do is the looters. Now, I'm happy charging all of this stuff down here. And I've already got overwhelming firepower. However, if I can kill both of these units with shooting, then that would be D3 instead of just one point for overwhelming firepower. So what I'll do is split fire. <laughs> I'll put um, uh, six and six. No, because they've got multiple wounds, right? Yeah, three each. Yeah, so I'll put four into them, eight of the looters into them. Okay. And oh. uh, three shots each. Right, here's the four looters times three. Ooh, yeah, into that squad. Fives. I only get one dacker. Which I converted. Twos to wound. Okay, five wounds at minus one, so five. Five ups. Five up saves, yeah, to keep that squad alive. Have they all got one wound each? Yeah. Including this dude with a banner. He's not part of that squad. Isn't he? Yeah, he's a Tempestor Prime, he's separate. He's all right, just okay. with him. Oh, they tried, but they, they died. They tried. That's just close. Very close. So that's two units dead. If I kill these with the looters, hmm. Okay, remaining shots into Bulgrin's hitting on five, sixes explode. Dude. I got seven sixes. I saw. Let's see if I can convert <laughs> any of them. Uh, no. <laughs> none at all. Freeze to wound. Because your toughness, Ogryn. Okay, so these are minus one, two damage. You have three up saves, right? Two up saves. Two up yes, saves, which up come through up saves. But you have to roll them like two at a time or something. I'm going to do a reach. <laughs> uh, okay, here's the dice. Thank you. All right, a couple of... Uh, oh, no, you can roll them all together and then we'll add it all up. Yeah, you're right. <gasps> How many wounds do they have? So that kills one, and that kills, and that kills another. Is that three units dead for overwhelming firepower? Oh, that's Giz and his buddy gone. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's the end of my shooting phase. Probably the most successful orc shooting phase I've ever done. <laughs> overwhelming firepower is one of those orc orders that comes out and you're like, really? <laughs> if you shoot enough, mm. you'll get something. Yeah. But that would be D3, and at 11 points of I really needed it. Mm. So uh, we'll do Overwatch in a second. So what I'm going to do with both of these guys is charge both of these units here. Cool. Let's see how far the Mega Knobs get. <laughs> Let's see how far Grugger Chugger gets. I can reroll that. I think they're in. I think they are. Right, he killed a Mega Knob. Yeah. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting how many shots these uh, little Toroxes have. Okay, we're going to start with Grugger Chugger against... Is that your second in command? He is. Oh, uh, we'll do him last. You know what Has he got a close combat nasty weapon? He's got power swords. I'll do him now. Yeah. Two's to hit. And they're extra hits. So I get seven hits on you, Yumi. Strength three. Or toughness uh, three, even. Toughness three, strength 14. Wounding on twos. And I reroll fail wounds. Yep. And it's minus three, three damage each. He's got a four up save and uh, he's gonna uh, fly away. 18 <laughs> wounds. Yeah, he'll leave his uh, little flag behind. As oh winter. no. No, I feel bad. <laughs> right, okay. Um, two Mega Knobs with kill swords, four attacks each. On to the Torox. Hitting on fours though, they're unwieldy. And on modify hit rolls of sixes are smasher, smasher, smacker. I'm strength 10. Toughness something six. So. Minus minus four two damage. Uh, so, so it's, yeah, it's uh, just trick three. Zzz, so that's four damage. With the saws, just four damage off of it. I don't kill it, but I do chop bits off. Three. And that is the end of orcs turn four. Wow. So uh, I've suddenly cleared out the center. And I killed three things with guns. And I'm defending this objective and I secured that objective. So I get a point for securing that objective. 11 points to 5 plus D3 points for overwhelming firepower. I get 2. It's 11 points to 7. 11 points to 7. The guard are still in the lead by 4 points. Desperate times as we go to guard. Turn 4. 11-7 and the guard want to defend 5, secure 5. Very important intel there. And blood and guts. They're getting angry. They want to punch these orcs to death. In the guard movement phase, they are securing objective five and have started to defend it as well. The Torox blocking the gaps, the driver screaming, you shall not pass. Blood and guts, however, is probably Rough Riders versus a truck. You can soften it up first with a vendetta, which is zipped over here. So the uh, forward operator can make it hit 
on force. So 11 points to 7, the guards doing everything they can to get even more points and run away with this game. They were told to cleanse and capture this site. And in achieving their orders, achieving their orders and putting the orcs into disarray, if despite the pounding they've taken, they win this game, that's what we're going to say. The orcs have been split up and pulled left, right and central and all over the place. But uh, starting off the shooting phase, the snipers one more time with that order one more time into the... Uh, Awesome. Mega Neb, Mega Neb, 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 into the engines. Yeah, the engine seer. Let's call him Mr. Forcefield. Big Mech. He's a Big <laughs> Mech into the Big Mech. Here yeah, they're firing sniper weaponry. Okay. Cool. So everyone wants because the Cadian Doctrine? Yes. Um, one hit. One hit. I think hit on fours. fours yeah. So, yeah. And then. Winning uh, on fours. Re rolling that because of the order. Oh, I don't oh, snipers just bounce off. Snipers yeah. are just no good, are they? No, but they're narrative. Torx can't fire because nope. it fell out of combat. You block do... them on purpose because you don't want them charging. Yeah. I can finally do my uh, air requested thing that I keep forgetting about bombardment. Yeah, okay, so it's on a five. If I do it on a character, how many wins has he got? Like five, I think. Oh, it's not really worth it. It's only does D3 four or five. Maps. I think it's five. Yeah, no, D3 it might maps. be four. I'll do it on the mega knobs. Do you want the Mega Knobs? Yeah, so one, two, three, nothing happens. Okay. Nope. Nothing happens. Nope. Fire for effect and the shells land over here. Yeah. Uh, cool. Right. Moving straight across then. This squad. Yes. Hot shot volley guns. Um, it'll be eight shots. No minus to move, even though it's heavy weapons because they're Catholic Eagles. Okay. So eight shots. Shit, I don't want to kill that boy. Are you going to shoot my boss knob? Yeah, he's, he's, he's upset me. <laughs> so he's dying. So three to hit. Uh, nice. Strength four, toughness four. four. Fours. Yeah, he's dead. AP minus blah blah blah. Go yeah, on. he's dead. Nice. He's dead. Dead. You, well, out. you did something. Yeah, they did. Um, got two melt guns in here. Have you? Yeah. What, your Rough Rider squad? Yeah. They got melt guns. I just remembered, yeah, there's one there and one there. Nasty. So they're within six of him. Okay. So they're going to fire. Okay. Hit on, uh, fours. Fours, yeah. Both, Both hit. hit. That's nasty. Winning on threes. I don't get a save. Yeah. It, Do I want to reroll that? Do I want that truck dead? There's loads of boys in the way. There is loads of boys there. I'm not that bothered. No? I don't get a yeah. save? Okay. Yeah. 2d6 six, six, damage, six. pick the highest then. Three. Okay. On a one, that three becomes a one. No. So you it's take... It's got at least once this game, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's got seven wounds left. A few moments later, <laughs> you didn't know where to put the Vendetta <laughs> or yeah. the Twin Laz. Twin Laz, you've got to fire two Laz in the same direction. There's three trucks. And in the end, you decided to put one in that one, one in that one, one in that one. <laughs> you want to charge that and kill that and yeah. get blood and guts, but you don't want it dead, so you yeah. want it soft. So you want a couple of lads and that. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> so do that one last. As it's, exciting. Yeah, yeah. As it, as it twists through the sky, it just fires las cannons everywhere down into these trucks. Yeah, All right, let's do the empty one first then. Yeah. Hitting on fours. It One hit. Wounding on a three. Oh. Doesn't wound. Okay. The one with the looters... Nope. Doesn't hit. And the one you want softened up. Hits yeah. once. Wounds on a three. Oh. Doesn't wound. Oh, got doesn't a CP. wound. Got you got a CP? CP. Okay. Yeah. It does wound. I don't get a save. That's D6 damage for four damage on a one, however. You blow off a bit I don't need. Ooh. No, I did need that bit. So it's down to three wounds left. Perfectly softened up for the charge. And that's the end of the shooting phase. Um, you killed a boy. <laughs> but you want to charge this and try and wrap it. I've done the overwatch into the Rust Riders. No damage caused. The guys inside can't shoot. That's in the shooting phase. Let's see how far you get this charge. Uh, seven. Seven. That's that's a pretty good wrap. You might not be able to wrap it. Yeah, you will be. Be able to wrap it. Holy. Holy. Here we end up after the charge phase, the Rough Riders surrounding the truck, trying to kill the boys as they try to disembark. Six attacks on the charge with the hunting lances, hitting on fours. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, they told me Rough Riders weren't very good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you command pointing the, because you've got the mount attacks as well, the horses themselves yeah, to kick the This is the thing that's going to do the damage. Okay, So CP reroll. You're down to one CP. Damn. Okay, one CP left. So now each horse gets, or horse, bike in this case, gets an attack. Yeah. The horse slash bikes hit on fours. Oh, oh no. Terrible. Ah, oh, the Rough Riders let you down. They do. It's no blood they and guts. They do. That's the end of, oh, the truck will fight back. He hits once. 
He wins. He's fine. Okay. At the end of ADMEC turn four, ADMEC, Astra Militarum turn <laughs> four, you have secured objective five, making it 12 points to seven. Mm -hmm. But I've defended that objective there, yeah. making it 12 points to nine. But at the end of turn five, you're going to de potentially defend that one there unless I blow those troops off of there. So anyway, 12 points to nine. We're heading right towards the final bell now. Orcs turn five. The Orcs want this battle grid. Defend one, secure two, supremacy, any three objectives. Right, here we are partially into the Orcs movement phase. I can't um, defend one, but I am securing two. And I had to spend my last command point for him to run over there because he didn't run far enough. I've also got supremacy. One, two, three. There's the empty truck. This truck is now empty down here because the looters have got out. They'll now be hitting on sixes. But if I kill that squad, I'll stop them defending that. That's a two-point swing. And over here, the boys disembark from the truck. Now, I couldn't get them all out because you disembark within three, then you move. I lost four models in this embarkation phase. So the Rough Riders were successful in a sense. They surrounded the truck, they're stabbing it, they're trying to bring them out, and they killed four boys as they tried to get out of the truck. But uh, I'm willing to take four boys. Default, um, default. For, a, for a charge. Because <laughs> you can't, you've got to get out before you move. So they're going to go charging and they're quite happy. Now the reason why we're part way through the charge phase is because I'm not, entirely sure that my looters can kill these guys so i really need to charge them now if i charge a torox then i'll just consolidate into them and they won't be dead i need to charge them so the mega knobs and grugger chugger need to come around here uh which is a long charge but war bosses have here we go ah, which means you can advance and charge so i wanted to get the advance roll on camera here's the advance roll for the Meganops. So that's a five. Here's the advice roll for Grugger Chugger. Oh dear. Right, we end up like that. That's a pretty long charge, but Orcs can re-roll charges. Now I don't know if I want to shoot them, because if I was the salt one, I would take away from this side and <laughs> make the charge even longer. Yep. Here we go. Wow, well, it's got a six inch bubble range. So I am in bubble range. I don't think I'm going to shoot them. I think I'll shoot the flyer. So let's go to the shooting phase and shoot the flyer. Now one minute, I can shoot the Torox. Let's shoot the Torox, number of shots. They can all see, but it is sixes to hit. But sixes explode. Four sixes. Five sixes. No, still four sixes, didn't convert any. So four hits, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's strength seven, toughness. Six. Six, okay. Uh, four, three's to wound. At live. Minus one. Two so, damage. Oh, so you need to make at two. least one of these. Yeah. Four up saves. Yeah. Takes two wounds. Hmm. Grug and Chugger advance, but it'll shoot his rocket. It hits! Oh. Daka, daka, daka. Okay, one hit. Strength eight, minus two or three, three damage. Oh. He doesn't wound, and I've got no CP left after that advance roll. And uh, that's the end of the shooting phase. <laughs> They're in combat, can't shoot them, all these guys. So there'll be a charge. These guys can't fail the charge into the Rough Riders, and they can't shoot back. Grugger Chugger might as well charge the Torox. Uh, but your Overwatch is absolutely nasty. Yeah. And that's Slay the Warlord. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Lots of shots. I'm going to do it anyway. Charge. I hit the Torox. Right, let's get these Overwatch shots from the Torox. Okay, so water cannons. Yes. One hit. Okay. Uh, was he? Three's to wound. Nope. Don't wound. It's the battle uh, cannon I'm battle scared cannon. of. Six shots. Oh, no. What? No. Sixes. Why Gorkle? Nope. Oh, he misses. And then the Storm, Storm Bottom, Bottom, which is... Oh, he's going to make it. He's going to make it. It's fine. He's going to make yeah, it. He's going to make it. He made it. Right, so he gets in there. This is just under eight inches away going around there. So a seven-inch re-rollable charge. Interesting enough, you can't overwatch me with your flamers because you can't see. So seven for the Mega Knobs. Oh. They make it. <sighs> And so they end up there, over here, the boys end up against the Rough Riders, and then we'll come back down here, and we'll do Grugger Chugger versus a Torox, and he's sitting on twos, and he's wounding on twos, and I re-roll to oh. wound with the Killer Claw, 
and you need to make four sixes to keep the Torox alive. <laughs> One. Dead Torox, <laughs> don't blow up. Or you could blow up actually, and hurt your guys, that'd be nice. No. no. Okay, so the Torox is dead. And would you like to pay to interrupt with uh, some guardsmen <coughs> or some rough riders? I've still got blood and guts. Yeah. Then we realise you can't pay to interrupt because you've only got one command point left. Yeah. Okay, so um, eight attacks with the Meganobs into these boys. And this is to stop you defending this. This is for quite a few points. Yeah. I um, hit on fours because I'm unwieldy. Okay, I'm not going to kill every single one. It's the morale that's a problem. You've got one command point. Strength 10. So three. Minus four, two damage. So there's two left. One of them in the Tempesta on leadership seven. Then across here to the boys with the slugger choppers. Hitting the rough riders on threes. Sixes explode. At toughness three, I'm wounding on threes. And five up saves, but two wounds each. Three get smushed, then the power claw hits. And that's two hits, and uh, uh, two's to wound, wound, d3 damage a time, killing one and another one. That wipes the unit. Now we're back here to Tempestus attacking Meganobs. Now, your Prime actually has got a power fist. We're going to do the normal guy first, hitting on a four, and wounding... Nope. Nope, okay. And now you've got the power fist, which is hitting off fives. Three. Uh, three is normally so back to fours. Oh, fours. Okay, yeah. fours. Okay. You like it? Nope. No, never mind. Right, okay. You lost three models. Your leadership seven. I have one command point left. You are defending that objective. You have one command point left, but and they shall know no fear. Six. <gasps> Need plus it. three is nine. So we're going to lose the last two. Again. Okay, all right. Four plus three is seven. Your leadership seven. They hold! <laughs> right, turn five. It was 12 9, you get two points for that one. 14, 14, 9. I've got that one. 14, 10. And then Supremacy. D3. Oh, where's the dice? Here's a dice. D3. 14, 12. To the Astra Militarum. As we head to turn five. Here are the orders. Death from afar. Kill something in the Orc deployment zone from something in the Astra Militarum deployment zone. Secure one and kill something in the fight phase. The Volcanus 22nd Air Assault Brigade came to this site to cleanse and capture it, to push back this Orc raiding party. They've been absolutely hammered for their sacrifices here, but they are winning 14 points to 12. It achieved, seems that they've achieved more objectives than the Orcs wanted to, and they are now... Controlling objective one as ordered. And this flyer is pitching through the sky and is lining up its six las cannons down at my warlord, Grugga Yes, the big mech is slightly closer, but characters don't block characters, so the flyer can now train all its weapons in and cut the head from the green snake. Sniper fire went down into the big mech, didn't hurt him round here. The um, heavy strength four guns, the volley blaster things. Anyway, you killed three boys, killed three boys, and that's it. Except for the six, tw well, three twin last kind of shots, six shots down into Grugga Chugga. Hitting on threes because of the um, forward air marshal. Uh, fours, because it's normal distance. Fours, yeah, fours, that's what I meant. Yeah. Two hits. <laughs> you have no command points. Yep. Strength nine, toughness five. Oh! oh. My rolling. The pilot misses his shots. The pilot misses his shots. And at the end of turn five, you only score a point for scoring that objective. Yep. However, you are still in the lead. Does the game end? Is this the way the world ends? Have you done enough to achieve your mission, sir? I hope so. Is it RTB for retasking or is there one more turn? Oh. There's one more turn. 15 12, the guards are three points in the lead. I need to get objective two to take out that flyer and to kill a character. Here we are after the orc movement phase. The looters shuffle round to try and bring all guns to bear for big game man to take that flyer out. Meganobs are still locked up in combat. Grugga Chugga wants to assassinate someone, so he's running up the table to that uh, air marshal over there. And meanwhile, the boys, and we have been remembering where our guys, uh, they've been passing and passing, are going to go charging in and kill the last of the Scions. Here we are at the end of Orcs Turn 6, the very end. 
The looters got one shot each, hitting on sixes, and only the front four could fire up at the vendetta and failed to hurt it. And then in the fight phase, the Meganobs cleared the last two guys off here. The boys went charging in and cleared the last two scions off there. So all the scions have been removed. And uh, Grugger Chugger failed his charge, probably after getting lit up by Laz Cannon's last turn, bouncing and smashing into the ground around him. So at the end of Orcs turn six, I only get a point for uh, securing, where is it? Yes, for securing mission critical objective two here with my Big Mac. I have driven the Astra Militarum all the way across and off this battle grid, but it seems they've achieved their objectives. And so it's 15 points to 13 for the Flyboys. Let's find out what their orders are in turn six. We have Domination, Death from Afar and Mission Critical Objective 3. Domination, not possible. Mission Critical Objective 3 over there, so that isn't going to happen this turn, but Death from Afar is... Have something in your deployment zone, which can kill something in my deployment zone. <laughs> Six Laz cannons into a truck. And the truck is dead, solidifying their lead. Your turn to roam, sir. And hey. this is the way the world ends. So in the end, it's a victory for the 22nd Air Assault Brigade. They've achieved their objectives and they've been ordered to withdraw. The Orcs are in disarray. They've cleansed and captured this site, sort of. We came to grab loot all over the place, um, but I imagine that um, another reason why there could be a victory, actually, it's maybe the big guns are in range now. They've come here, the orcs are all over the place, got trucks here, the bikes are gone, and now all of a sudden, very, very, very big shells start raining from the sky. There's a Bane Blade and some Lehman Russell uh, <laughs> on their way in. We've, you know, we've, uh, we've held them for long enough. Yeah. Just, we've confused them, just time for an armoured corps to come in from the flank. Yeah, I've confused. The warlord's running off on his own. <laughs> Most of the boys have been wiped out. You've got some Dacker back here. Um, yeah, and a couple of trucks. But most of the speed has been cut away. I'm on... I've got good ball control by the end. Um, uh, I think the mistake you made, quite a critical mistake, was moving the flyers in into charge range in yeah. the middle of the table. Yeah. Still need to fly as learn how they uh, how they work, and uh, that's a good lesson there. Yeah, I mean we learn from our mistakes, and also as we said many many times, it's been a while. <laughs> it's the first time we played forty k yeah. since I wasn't experienced. February, as it was, so. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you're new in eighth, right? Yeah, you started this, this in eighth. is like my ninth game, I think. Is it? Like, yeah. I think you did very well. Thank you. I like the fact that um, you're bringing narrative lists. Though I really like your list. This air wing coming in and. And um, it's you won. You won now. The maneuverability, the maneuverability it gives. It's a glass cannon, isn't it? It's yeah. guard. It yeah. hits hard, but then if you hit it, it breaks and yeah. falls apart. Um, so you did what you wanted to do with it, and you were able to achieve the objectives as they came out. You had the maneuverability to do it when they came out. You've got some very interesting units in there. Uh, and the orcs do what the orcs do, which is just push and push and push and push. But yeah, there was a bit of a mistake in the middle, but it wasn't enough to turn the tide of battle in my favour. I also think another game changing moment, I didn't get very many until the end, secure X, secure Ys. Because yeah. I had the footprint. I could have, in turn one, scored a couple. In no, turn two, you scored a couple. Yeah, yeah and that, that never came out. But I quite like my list as well. I mean, everything in transports. Yeah. Rumbling forward. Very Mad Max. I like it. Yeah. Uh, that Bone Breaker isn't new model syndrome. I think it's the second time of it, but it was, it was it good. Yeah. It was very good. Smush my warlord. With a mech. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It ran him down. Yeah, Talos is still alive. We'll see about today. Well, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Um, what I mean, narratively speaking, he could have been crushed into the soft earth. <laughs> yeah, it's, let's not forget it's spiky as well. <laughs> it's a bit spiky, oh, yeah, it wouldn't have been crushed. It'd you know what stuck it was? To it yeah, the back wagon wasn't killed by the melters, it was that little spike on his helmet. As it rolled him over, it just punctured the gas tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, swish. There's a helmetless man lying around concussed somewhere <laughs> around here. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. That was really good. Um, but no, thanks for coming down. Thank you. Thanks for agreeing to be in my bubble. <laughs> yeah. My social distancing bubble. We need to arrange some more stuff because you've got Blood Angels, you've got your Space Marines. Yeah. You're working on the Admech with got the new miniatures. Points of Admech, yeah. 600. Yeah. You're a very fast painter. 
I have had a lot of time in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> contrast paints help an oh, awful brilliant. lot. And dry brushing. And dry brushing. Yeah. Contrast and dry brush. Secret to success. Yeah. That and Instagram. If you put it on Instagram, you feel like you're doing something. You yeah. see your progress. Ah, yeah. okay. I should really use Instagram more. You should. I should. You should like all my photos. <laughs> I should like all your photos. <laughs> I just, um, yeah. Just uh, moving on. Technology. Thank you everyone for watching this battle report. We hope you enjoyed it. For more Windows SEO battle report, check out deployment zone.tv. Happy wargaming.